Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use custom drawing properties to set up your title blocks so that information which should appear in your drawing titles only has to be entered once. It's really not difficult. So as you can see, what we are starting with is a fairly normal title block here. What is in it? The content, the scale and the sheet number are entered via attributes. So if I do a double click on the on the block here, I can put these values in. Different for each sheet, otherwise everything is just contained in the block. The company name, the project, whatever particular part of the project we're doing here. To be precise, we also have a text field for the save date, which goes in here, and we also have a field text for the drawing file name. What happens when we insert this block into a drawing or we have it in a drawing ready for a new project? Well, what happens in, is in actual fact, we have to mark it, right click, block editor, and change the things which are written here, the, the project address and the particular works which are going to be shown in this drawing. And that's okay, it's not a problem. I've seen a lot of people do that. It would be nice though, if we can put these things in once and not have, it, have to change them. Well, somebody may say, well, if I change them in this block, it's the same in all blocks. That's true, except it's not. For example, we have here uh, a different paper size, A4, A3. They usually have a, a different sheet title and the, the drawings A2 and so on. So that's another reason, in fact, why it's good to have these things coming in automatically from a different source. And the way to do that is actually to port all these pieces of information in the drawing properties, and then they will simply appear as field text wherever we've inserted them. Another thing we could do is to put in the drawing index if of course that changes in every drawing in the drawing set. I have here a list of the various things in which we would need to have as values which we can put in as field text. Of course it's not a list which is complete in the sense that there aren't other things which you could have. One wouldn't have to use it all. It's just something, a, a sort of idea I had of, of one way of doing it which is actually going to save us a bit of time. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the index. Now you may of course look at this and think, oh that's a little bit strange because in front of everything I have AA. So AA change index or AA project description so we'll actually see in a moment why I've done that. So let's go to our first value and see how this how it's done. In actual fact, I go here over the Alt AutoCAD icon to Drawing Utilities, Drawing Properties, and go here to Custom. I say Add. Now I'm going to call this AA Change Index. And although I don't have a value right now, I haven't actually changed anything, I'm going to put in A and it means that when I actually want to insert this particular text field, I have something which I can hang on to. If there's nothing in there, then there's nothing to be seen which I can move or size or whatever. So we'll leave it as it is there. Say OK, OK, mark, right click, block editor. So let's insert our field text. We can do this over insert and we have field text here. And because I put AA at the beginning, we don't have to search through this long list for the actual property we want to use. So I just say, that's the one I want. OK, let's put it there. All I have to do now is change it so that it has the right position and size and so on. So there it's moved, a left justification is fine. We can now close this. Yes, please, to changes. And there we have it. Now I'm going to do the same in my other drawing frame. Mark, right click, block editor. I could of course have copy clicked it, but having forgotten that, I'm just going to have to do things the hard way. 
and reinsert it. Field text, OK, OK. save and there I have my index as well. So now if I were to change that as I'm about to over my utilities drawing properties I change the value here I just put in a space say OK uh, nothing happens that's really great it's not a problem all I have to do is either save or if I want to be really technical I could go here and update fields mark that enter and it's changed here and it should be changed here as well as in fact it is. Now in fact that's all you need to know in order to be able to do this in principle. I'm actually going to take the time to finish this off in the sense of changing the other things here as well. So it gives you the opportunity to see a few times how I do it and it may interest you to know that since I'm going to have to go a few times here to my drawing properties I'm going to actually set a command up here which saves me all the clicking and it may interest you to know how to, I'm going to do that so I start off by going here to my workspace switching customize I look for the command here and it's actually actually called drawing properties there it is and all I need to do is drag and drop it to my quick access toolbar okay and then when I click here I arrive straight at this table where I can put in my various new properties so what do I want to put in here firstly project description and that should have a value of erection of new two-story house okay the next one project name value the Smith family next the street value 22 Eden Grove you may wonder why number 22 any of you who know Benny Hill will be able to answer that question next value AA project postcode the next property name sorry the value AB12 CD the next one project town or city with the following value new town and then for our works custom property name work description with the value steel stairs basement to first floor so we've set up all of our custom properties now we need to insert them in the drawing where we would like to have them and with the the visual properties which we find appropriate so I say okay I'll start with this drawing block so I can put the first things in here Insert field, project description. Okay.
change that then to street. We'll change that then to the town. And this then to the postcode. We can do the same thing here. I'm just going to copy this one across. Save changes, and these will then change any time we change the values in our property definition. But what we now need to do to make it really worthwhile is to go to our other drawing or our other drawing size and make changes according to what we have on the previous one. In actual fact, at the moment, the project is also a an attribute which I don't want to have. So I can change this as well over the block editor. Let's insert some field text, project description, I think. And then we can give it the right sizes by copying them from one to the other. I'll move that appropriately. changed because I've changed an existing attribute in a block but that's not a problem all I have to do is go to insert block definition synchronize enter mark enter and then it's updated so if I were to change that now say oh new project or I've made a mistake or whatever drawing utilities drawing properties I can change that from new two-story house to let's say it's now a new bungalow that looks better it doesn't change automatically but as soon as I either save or go here to update fields then it changes and I can go here And it's changed here as well. What it doesn't do, of course, is to say, well, if we have a bungalow, we don't need steel stairs from the basement to the first floor. But we have to think about some things ourselves. As you can see, it's not difficult to put the, this information in or to use it in a at least apparently sensible way in our drawing frames. So that was it for just now. But if you'd like to make any comments about the video or you have indeed any questions about this or any other videos, feel free to write the, the comments in at the bottom below the video or you can contact me directly over my website. The information for that will appear roughly about now. But also at the end of the video you will find a link where you can just click on it and you come straight to my website. You will also find a link to subscribe to my channel and I can sincerely recommend that because then in this way you can keep in touch with developments in AutoCAD, different subjects which I will deal with as I upload videos from time to time. So, thanks very much for watching and see you soon.